We're here at the Spa at Sweets Hotel in Knowsley for a very, very special Christmas surprise. They're five ladies who have done so much with us within Everton in the community this last year. We are going to surprise them with a real Christmas treat. They think that they're coming to have a little look around the facility, see what it's like, but really we're going to give them a morning of pampering. They're going to be having afternoon tea and we are going to be spoiling them like they truly deserve. Girls, grab yourselves a glass of champagne and get yourselves over here. Now, you're all here this morning. We've got you here under false pretenses, I'll be perfectly honest. You all thought you'd come to have a little look at the facilities, didn't you? But really, this is our little thank you to you for everything you've done. And this is your day now. We are going to pamper you. You're going to have an amazing morning as a big, big thank you for everything you've done. <laughs> You're one of our blue bells. How long have you been involved with this? For the 12 months. The um, 12 months. I run a coffee morning um, for parents with children with special needs. Mm -hmm. And Everton and the community uh, kindly have taken us under their wing. Mm -hmm. And they have, um, we go on a walk on a Wednesday and we have Dean on a Friday as a personal trainer. I've seen massive differences. Not only, I think the fitness side of it comes the, end, the last thing. Really, it's just them getting together, yeah. speaking to each other, and them having a laugh every Friday yeah, at I mean, the expense of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I've been involved with the girls because I haven't got child disability, but I've worked with them over a number of years. And through coming to the gym and going on the walks, it's a good opportunity for them to talk and share experiences. Obviously, at home, when, when you have got a, child, a child that, that's got disabilities, it's so easy to not make any time for yourself, isn't it? You tend to pull yourself away a little bit. It's easier to stay in than it is to take the two of them in the wheelchair and everything that comes with it. It's, it's easier to just pull yourself back and stay away. So when they're in school full time, you have to make the most of it. And, and, and that's exactly what I do, and more so since February since we started this. Very different charmy day isn't it you're all sat here and I think if you turn round we've got somebody arriving here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. obviously Beth is a huge supporter of Everton in the community a real avid supporter of the work we do but she regularly asks about this program this program is really special to Beth um, so we had the opportunity for Beth to join us at Christmas and we thought, okay, who should we take Beth along to meet? She wants to just find out a little bit more about you. If you're comfortable to talk about your position or situation, please do it. If you don't want to, no pressure at all. We had another surprise this morning with the arrival of the lovely Beth today. Now, you're a mum yourself. How do you feel after meeting these mums today? Do you know what? Being a mum is hard as it is, but what these women have to go through every day, they battle, they fight, and I think they're just inspirations. They really are. Listening to the stories um, has made me feel really humble, and I really, really am so honoured to have met every single one of them. Mm -hmm. They're fantastic women, really strong and extremely brave. They're an inspiration to absolutely everyone. Well, our blue heroes, our blue bells, have now been presented with our certificates. Denise, you've known all of them from day one. How have you seen a difference in these women in the last 12 months? Oh, their development has been incredible. It really has the strength of their partnership as a united team and their ability to just continue to turn up and overcome such adversity, you know, and always with a smile on their face, good sense of humour and, uh, and a real commitment to doing what's right as a group. Well, the girls have all gone off for their treatments now. They're having their massage, their nails done. But there's one guy who we really have got to thank. I feel the need to call you Mean Dean. But how can I call you Mean when you're smiling like that? What do you think today has meant for them, Dean? It meant the world to them. Because like, normally they don't get any time to themselves, as we've said. They come to the gym and that's their bit of respite. They come and have a laugh. They do a little bit of a workout together. But they don't get anything else on top of that. So for them seeing that as their big reward, which most people take for granted, going to a gym or something like that, 
coming here today, you could see it on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. It meant the world, especially before Christmas. It was like a Christmas present for them. Well, we've had a fantastic morning going into the afternoon down here at Sweets with our Blue Heroes. They've been simply fantastic. They are now getting pampered. They've had their afternoon tea. We've had the lovely Beth Martinez come down, also Denise. They've been overwhelmed with surprises as we all have and there's no one who deserves it more than these five women and it is going to give them a massive massive boost to take them into 2015.